What is going on guys? Sterling with Handsome WP here. In this video today, we're gonna to be looking at how to set up product variations on your Handsome checkout, how to set up quantity, uh, different quantity points that you can sell and set custom discounts and things like that. So some really cool stuff that we can do, uh, how to build a pricing table for uh, quantity and product variation. Um, and this is all baked right into Handsome Checkout. So we're gonna look at all those features as well as the abandoned cart uh, functionality, how we can set up a quick abandoned cart email to go out for potential clients who haven't purchased but have something left in their cart. So let's jump right into this. So here we are in the back end of our website, guys. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our variable products set up correctly. I'm gonna run through this quickly just in case you don't know how to do this. Um, we're gonna come to our products and we're gonna come down to attributes. So let's go to our attributes and a new tab. Here you can see I have two different attributes on my products. I have color and size. So you can create as many different attributes as you like and include them on the products that you want them included on. So for this example, we're just gonna be using size, but basically you would just put the name in here add the attribute and then you would click this link here configure terms and then this way you're going to be able to add the different uh, the different variation types so in, for this example large medium and small um, so we have three different sizes of shirts we're not gonna worry about colors but you could technically have different sizes of different colors with different uh, you know other variations as well so let's head over to our variable product to uh, set that up for this example, we're gonna be just adjusting our t-shirt product. So we're gonna scroll down and in this drop down, we're gonna select a variable product. Once we've done that, we're gonna come down to our attributes and from this drop down, we'll be able to select the attributes that we want to add to this product. So I just selected size, I clicked add, and then you can see here are my sizes. I can specify if there was only uh, large and small or medium and small, I could remove the uh, the variation that does not apply to this product, but I'm just gonna leave all three. So I said there are large shirts, medium shirts, and small shirts. And then I checked this box that says use for variations. This is going to allow us to, uh, to actually create different prices based on the different variations. So let's click into our variations tab now that we have that all uh, selected and saved. And then I clicked in this drop, or I clicked in this drop down, and I said create variations from all attributes. This is really handy. Uh, because WooCommerce will generate you all of the different variations. So if you did have color and size, it would go through and generate all of those different variations for you. Now we can see we only have three because we only have large, medium, and small. And all I did was went into here and I just changed the price. Uh, because it's a little more fabric, I would say our large is going to be $25, our medium is going to be $23, and our small is going to be $21. And then once you uh, have that all in there, you can save the changes. Of course, you can customize SKU, you can customize sale price, um, weight, anything that you could customize on a on a just a basic product. You can customize per variation, which is super cool. Um, so once we have our product set up correctly with our variations, so once you get to this point, let's head over to Handsome Checkout, and I'll show you how that's going to work on our Handsome Checkout page. So here we are on the Handsome Checkout page, guys. You can see that I have adjusted the product that's added just to my variable product. And that is so we can show those variations on the Handsome Checkout page. And then I just adjusted my product title and my product description and my image. Okay, so I wanna draw your attention to the variation and quantity options checkbox here, guys. We're gonna check this box and this is going to display some special uh, some special information. So we can customize our main title, item title, price title, and highlight inscription here if we would like. Um, and I will show you what that looks like on the front end here in a second. And then we have this drop down, which is the most important part. So we're gonna select basically what we want to be shown on the front end, what kind of, uh, what kind of pricing we're going to be doing. So we have simple quantities, and we'll just cover this one first. So here you can see I have now, when I select uh, simple quantities, it's going to give me this table here where I can add options and then I can set custom pricing for these options. So for this example, I have three different options. I have number one, buy one for full price. So we're charging $25 for one shirt. I have buy two and get one free. So I'm able to say buy three, or their quantity is gonna be automatically updated to three shirts, but I'm only gonna charge them for two. And then here you can see I have buy a box of 20 shirts and the price will be 450. So uh, so it gets cheaper the more they buy. That's kind of where this is going to be really useful. Or if you're selling in different, uh, say you have different shipping box amounts, you can say we can ship a box of 10 or a box of 20 or a box of 50. This is gonna allow us to 
uh, to customize this. So same product, but different quantities and different prices for those different quantities. Okay, so let's update our page and then let's go to the front end to take a look at this. So let's refresh. And here you can see we have buy one for full price, buy one, uh, get or buy two and get one free, and then buy a box of 20. So I can select between these three different options. It's gonna automatically update my quantity for my products. This is going to easily allow my customer to swap between different quantities and uh, discounted prices at different quantities. One other thing I wanna mention, guys, we can check this box that says highlight and then we can select uh, which one we would like to highlight. So we could say, yeah, you know, people buy one shirt, but the most popular is buy two and get one free. And then we can check this box to highlight this option. And then if we go and look at this on the front end, let's refresh, you're gonna see that it's going to highlight number two. And then we can set by default which one's going to be selected. So we could select that middle one and then have it highlighted as well. So people are gonna be able to see that, oh, our most popular is buying two and getting one free, but I only wanna buy one or I wanna buy a full box. And this is just a quick style change. Uh, you don't have to do that, just uncheck that highlight if you like. Um, and we can add as many options as we want and we can customize this as much as we want, but that is simple quantities. And now let's talk a little bit about simple variations. So we've selected simple variations in this dropdown and you can see it's even, even easier than, than simple quantities. All of the other options are easier. It automatically generates them for you. So we're gonna come to uh, the front end and we're gonna refresh. Because our product is set up correctly, we have our three different prices based on size and people can just select between our three different variations of this product. They're not changing the quantity of the product. They're just selecting the variation now and you can see it automatically swaps out for our variation pricing. Super simple, super easy. Um, so if you have a product that's a variable product, all you have to do is click this box and select simple variations and then you're set up to sell one variation of that product on your checkout page. So super easy to set up a simple variation, guys. Now let's move on to drop down quantities and variations. Once we select this, you'll notice that nothing else changes. We don't have to do anything else on the back end. So here we are on the front end looking at simple quantities and variations or the drop down quantities and variations. So people are gonna be able to select in a drop down how many they purchased. This is an awesome opportunity if you are doing maybe wholesale uh, items. Uh, say somebody wants to order a large amount of, of your three variations. We could say I want 10 large shirts, I want 12 medium shirts, and I want 12 small shirts. Super easy to update that. Now you, know, you have all your variations listed as well as an adjustable quantity. And that is going to, of course, reflect in the price and be updated immediately as they make those selections. So super easy, kind of a mixture of those first two if you need people to be able to update the quantity and if they want to see all of the different variations of the product that you're going to be selling. Okay, guys, so let's talk now about simple products. So we've selected simple products. Um, now let's scroll up and we've added a couple more products to this page. So we have t-shirt, cap, and hoodie. This is a great... Uh, if you want to offer multiple products on a handsome checkout and you want people to be able to select between those products, that's what this is for. So I've added t-shirt, cap, and hoodie. Let's update and let's go look at it on the front end. Fresh. And then now you're gonna see that we have t-shirt, cap, and hoodie. And people can just in one click swap between my simple products that are on my handsome checkout. So really easy, really useful. You can see why variation and quantity options are so uh, are so powerful. We can really do a lot of customizations when it comes to our handsome checkout and how we display our variations and our quantities and our products. And uh, it's just all kind of based on your use case, what's gonna work best for you in your scenario. Okay guys, let's give this a quick synopsis. Um, we have our simple quantity, which is changing the quantity and adding a custom discount based on the quantity. Simple variation, which is just gonna show them all the different variations of the product and allow them to choose between them. Drop down quantity and variations is gonna show them all the variations and allow them to select a custom quantity for each of the variations. And then simple products is gonna allow them to choose between the different products that you have on your handsome checkout if you have multiple products on there. So super easy, really powerful guys. I hope this was helpful and let's go check out abandoned carts. So first things first, we're gonna come to handsome checkout and we're gonna click on abandoned cart. And then we're gonna click on this little drop down here that says how it works. 
And basically, I'm just gonna run through this real quick with you guys so you understand how the abandoned cart works. We don't actually send an email, we send a webhook. So it says a user types their email in your checkout form. As soon as the user clicks anywhere outside the email, that data is captured and held for 20 minutes. If the checkout is completed within those 20 minutes, we don't do anything, we don't send any messages. If the checkout is not completed within 20 minutes, the data is sent to our integration or it says Zapier, but really we can integrate it with anything that can receive a webhook. Um, it sounds kind of advanced, but it's actually pretty simple. Here you can see we have a bunch of examples of what's on file, so abandoned carts that have happened. You can even uh, write a custom personalized message if you see somebody who's hit the checkout minute multiple times with the same email address who has not purchased a product. You could write them a little message and say, hey, you know, here's a promo code for 15% off. You know, we really would love to, to, you know, love to serve you. And, and you could even do that if you wanted. And there's a little readout here. You can clear the table, export it as an, a CSV as well. Um, but if we click on this connect to Zapier uh, link here, you can see that we have a little checkbox that says send to Zapier. So if you want to disable it, just uncheck that. But you can see in this example, I'm not using Zapier. I'm actually using Pabli. Um, and Pabli is very similar to Zapier. There's Integramat, there's Pabli, there's Zapier, there's a ton of different solutions that can receive a webhook. Even a lot of CRMs and email marketing softwares can receive a webhook and can run actions off of it. So you may not even need a connection software. I'm just going to do it this way just uh, just to show you how easy it is. So I have my uh, have my Pabli webhook URL in there. This is the information that's sent. Now let's head over to Pabli and we'll take a look at how I have it set up there. So here I am inside my Pabli account. So you can see uh, I have a free task. So a lot of time, a lot of these will have a free account up to a certain amount of triggers. As long as you're not getting uh, thousands and thousands of abandoned carts a day, you should be good to set up a free account. Um, here's my webhook URL that I had pasted into my abandoned cart. You can see it's actually captured a webhook here. You can see the information. There's the email address. Here's the, the product ID and the quantity and then the date that it happened. So here I have this set up just with Gmail and this is just for demonstration. You can see that I've connected Pabli to my Gmail. I have my name as potential customer. I have my uh, recipient address as the email of the person who abandoned the cart. I have my sender name set. I have my sender email set. And then I have my subject line set to don't miss out on your discount. I'm gonna say finish your checkout. So we'll just say that just, and this is just all for demonstration. And then if we scroll down a little more, you can see that here is my email content. I'm just saying, hey, it looks like you left something in your cart. And then I have a link to my checkout with the add to cart uh, functionality. So this is just a WooCommerce default add to cart URL. And then I'm merging in the ID of my product. So it's gonna add to cart the product that they were looking at last. And then the button just says, finish your checkout. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click send and test. And here you can see my email was sent. So let's take a look at that email uh, once I receive it. Okay guys, so here is that email you can see. It says, hey, it looks like you left something in your cart. If I hover over this link, you can see it's just taking me back to my cart. So let me uh, copy that link address. We'll open it in a new tab. And it's gonna actually load me into the checkout and it's gonna add that product back to my cart so I can finish the checkout process. So super powerful, super a uh, little bit of setup that goes into this, but once you have it set up once, you don't have to mess with it again, which is kind of nice. It should just run. And then you just want to activate your workflow. Uh, and they call it a workflow in Pabli. They call it a Zap and Zapier and so on. They have different names, but it's the same general idea. Once you uh, have your webhook URL in there and you set up your automations, it's gonna automatically be sending out that abandoned cart and worst case scenario, guys, you keep a list of all of the emails of people who have abandoned the cart who were going to purchase and didn't purchase. So when you run a sale or something like that, you can you can send an email to these uh, to these users and these email addresses, and you can say, "Hey, I'm running a special sale for Black Friday or for Cyber Monday or whatever," and you can let them know that you're running a sale. And maybe they weren't ready to purchase at that time; they're ready to purchase now. So very powerful. Also very cool, we are going to be improving the abandoned cart functionality. We'd love to be able to have it maybe send a, a quick email from WordPress, but for now, this is the functionality and it is still very user, usable and very uh, powerful. 
Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. My name is Sterling with Handsome WP. We are WordPress developers and we've built a suite of plugins that work with WooCommerce to help our customers make more money. If you're interested in any of that, I have the links down in the description. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. It really helps us out. And I will see you guys in the next video.